Hey, what's up you guys? I have officially left Europe and I wanted to share the reason why because I know it was a little bit abrupt and I did plan on staying there until May. But one thing that I'm really working on in my life right now is just following my heart and what I really want to do. But don't get me wrong, if I could still explore all of Europe, I totally would be. But I ran out of my 90 days in the Schengen region and I had to spend 90 days out, which was why I went to Albania. And don't get me wrong, I loved Albania. It was super beautiful there. I loved the food, people were really cool. I did have a little bit of trouble making friends because the hostels weren't very busy and I came across a lot of people that didn't speak English, which that's your country, it's not mine. I'm not saying that that was a bad thing, but especially with it being the winter and not being able to go outside as much, I just started to feel really lonely. And I was like, well, I could just wait it out in nice apartments and go see the rest of the Balkan region alone, or I could do something that really, really called to my heart. And so I'm like, well, if I have two, three months to spare, why am I just going to be getting through it? Why am I not more excited than ever about it? I feel like that's how we should all be living our lives. If we are like, oh, well, I, I have to get through four months of this to get to this, it's like, well, why aren't you making those four months the best months of your lives. We're not promised tomorrow. We don't know what can happen next week. And I've really, I've decided to start living my life like that. And it has made me so much happier. I took a day and I thought to myself, okay, if I could be doing anything, what would it be? I was like, I really just want to be on the beach. I haven't been to a beach in over a year. Like I missed the beach so much. I just miss the way the air smells in the summer. I just miss the heat, the humidity. I love humidity. Most people hate humidity. I'd much rather be super hot than super cold. Granted, I, do, I am not packed for super hot weather, which is a bummer, but I came here anyway. I basically just kind of sporadically booked a ticket one day and said there's no going back. This is what you want, so go and get it. Though my first thought was I would love to go to Australia. That one takes a little bit of extra money about $2,000 in plane tickets to get to Australia and, and being there is super expensive So I was like, okay, where can I go? That's tropical and hot and not crazy expensive and is an affordable plane ticket So I am back in Mexico <laughs> You guys know plenty of my vlogs from Mexico most of my pop Basically all of my popular vlogs have been filmed in Mexico, which I also thought that's probably a good idea because I know you guys like these videos. But this time around, I won't be going to Temptation Resort. I won't be going to Paradise Village Resort. I can't afford resorts. I have been here for three weeks now. I haven't filmed much, but we'll get to that. I am in my first private accommodation of the trip and it was $30 a night. They're nowhere near those resort prices because baby, I've been hostel hopping again. Now, Mexico is definitely cheaper than the United States, but not cheaper than like Albania or like the Balkan region. Like there I was able to afford an apartment to myself here, it's back to hostel living, which I honestly don't mind because up to now, like I've made so many friends. It's been amazing. Like I've met some of the best people on this trip so far during this time in Mexico. So now as to why I haven't really been filming too much here, don't worry, vlogs are coming. But I haven't been making it a priority to bring my GoPro around with me and film every day and film thought worthy content, you know? Like I feel like it would be like, okay, here's me sitting by the pool. Okay, here's me ordering a salad. Like. I haven't really done anything that people would be, wow, like that's crazy. Because what I really needed was time to myself to relax, to stop go, go, going. And I've realized that that is one thing that in the past year I have been doing religiously and it is doing a lot more harm to me than it is good. Ever since I started going to camp last summer, I was working 16 hour days and between filming for the camp doing my other wedding catalog job, editing YouTube videos. I lost myself along the way. I stopped hiking, I stopped sitting in nature, I stopped working out, I stopped doing all the things that like I really was passionate about. I stopped doing yoga, I stopped learning new things. I never had time to learn new things. I had tried learning the ukulele before that and I just gave up on it because I had no time to sit down with it and learn. All of that, I gave up for money. <laughs> That's not who I am. And so when I was sitting in, in Albania and I was like, well, like I said, I would do the rest of this Balkan series. Like, are you going to go back on your word? I was like, this isn't about, this isn't, this wasn't fun anymore. I'm supposed to be doing things because I enjoy them, not because I feel like I have to do them. And it doesn't mean that I'm stopping YouTube or anything. It just means that I, I 
lost my path for a little while. That doesn't mean I can't get it back. And that's what I've been doing here in Mexico is kind of finding myself again, going out and meeting new people, doing what I love, laying on the beach, doing what I love, jumping in the ocean and just being, and being mindful and not being like, okay, you have like 10,000 projects you need to complete. Just like chill without spending as much money. So you won't need to make as much money and you could find an even balance there. Cause it, it used to just be like, make, 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 consume, consume, consume. And that doesn't resonate with me. What resonates with me is finding joy in the moment and being happy because I know a lot of people put themselves through stress and maybe they're okay with it but for me it shows up on my skin in red marks it's really funny I used to think it was all about food and I've gone through every diet in the book and then I came to Mexico and I ate most things the only thing I don't eat right now is gluten but I eat meat and cheese and a little bit of sugar and my skin is rapidly getting better there are patches on my hand that are gone that were here when I was in Albania doing the carnivore diet like every diet that I tried I thought I'd get some results from it but it just stressed me out more and it stressed me out more and then I stopped stressing and then it started to go away and I was like I think this is the universe telling me that I need to follow my heart and not just do what I think I'm supposed to be doing because they say stress kills and this will kill me if I keep doing it. I have a few videos planned for this next month about Mexico and about some more crazy travel stories because I don't know if you can tell I've lost my voice again a little bit because I have been having a great time yelling, cheering on friends that I've met along the way. So I have a few crazy Mexico stories coming at ya. I am going somewhere new next month that's close by, also in uh, Central America, that I'll be vlogging a lot more. But this month I'm kind of just taking it easy and going with the flow because I need it and I deserve it and you deserve it and we all deserve it. We all need to just slow down because in this world of instant gratification, and go 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 and rents due every 30 days like we need we need to remember that we're human and we weren't meant to work on these types of clocks just so happened to be the hand we got dealt that we now need to fight against but thank you guys for listening and i'm really excited to show you all the beautiful places that i've been seeing this month so i will catch y'all on the next one I tell you